That's our poor clam shelter right now. <laughs> we'll see if it's got any damage. Sure rains a lot in the desert. This is going to be one beautiful spring here because the flowers are already starting to bloom and it's just late February. Yeah, you're getting enough water, enough oh, rainfall. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. So we shouldn't go home until after we see the full bloom. I think that's like me. Yeah. <laughs> now in the next couple of weeks, this desert's gonna come alive. Well, good morning. Linda and I are still up craggy wash up above Lake Havasu City. And man, did it rain yesterday. <laughs> It just, at times, it just poured. That's going to bring this desert to life. It's already blooming. There's flowers everywhere. But uh, in the middle of it, we had our clam shelter up. And it was nice to be able to go in there and get out of the rain. And there wasn't any wind. But just about, just before dark last night, we got hit by a thunderstorm. And the wind picked up and it picked our clam shell up and knocked it over on its side and we had to run outside get soaking wet and and take it down luckily they they you know just all you gotta do is collapse the panels and they collapse right away so that's what we did is we we collapsed it in place and then put a water jug on it to kind of hold it down but uh, I want to check it out this morning and see if it's damaged at all I don't see any damage. No rips, no tears, no broken pieces or anything. I think it's all right, but lesson learned. If there's any chance of a thunderstorm, take it down. I knew they don't stand up to uh, high winds. But uh, we went from calm to, I don't know, maybe a 40, 40 mile an hour gust or something. It really blew. And we looked out the window of the trailer just in time to see that, see it go up like this and over on its side. Other than the fact that it's all covered with sandy grit, I think it's all right. I'll check the tie downs and the grommets and see if any of those are ripped out. But I think it's all right. Well, incredibly, none of the grommets were torn. It's got no damage at all. Woohoo! Because we really like it. <laughs> it's been working out really well for us. Protection against the bugs and 
against the rain and just the light breezes you know when you're trying to cook on a propane stove and it keeps blowing the flame well we cook in there and everything's fine so what a beautiful morning in case you're wondering this is what I had it staked down with the clamshell clam shelter they were driven in all the way too <laughs> Well, in one of my last videos, I showed uh, the building of this pipe berth here that I'm sitting on. And one of my subscribers asked to give an update on how it's been working out. And it's been working out very well. I did make a slight change in it. You know, I put a long lacing underneath it to tighten up the canvas. And uh, I changed that. Before I tell you about that, though, I want to tell you that you don't need to have a lace up canvas if you just pre-shrink your canvas before you do your pipe berth and you know dry it on hot heat uh, high heat you you may not even need to do that because this this bunk up here linda's bunk that's the way we did hers and we pre-shrunk it and it's it's never moved it's been just fine she sleeps very comfortable on it but i had uh, i have back problems so i i needed to make sure that i could adjust mine so i did that long lacing well, the long lacing didn't work out for me. I think it would work out for almost everybody, but I injured my back when I was uh, young and I, I've suffered back pain ever since. But what I ended up doing was putting in a triple lacing on underneath here. So there's the bunk is divided up in thirds and you can you can tighten or loosen each part. And believe it or not, you, you would think that you'd want your hips to be looser but for me, that caused me all kinds of pain, and I got the I got the most comfort out of having the feet and my hips tight and loosening up my shoulder area. And since I did that, I've been sleeping on it very well. Now, what I put on top of of uh, my bunk and Linda's bunk is an inflatable mattress pad, you know, one or one and a half inches thick, self-inflating mattress pad. And then we put a wool blanket on top of that, so you don't sweat on top of it and then your sleeping bag on top of that. It's really comfortable. I like the fact that these bunks are so lightweight, they didn't add any weight to the trailer. They're, you don't have any heavy two by four and plywood structure or anything like that. And they're extremely comfortable to sleep on. You don't bottom out on a, on a, on a pipe berth, just like a cot. So I like it a lot. Anyways, I hope you appreciated it. And by the way, if you like this video, please, Give it a thumbs up and it helps us if you subscribe. We're trying to build this channel and we've done pretty good thanks to you people.